unlike many people today, I'm very optimistic about the creativity of the bureaucracy. I think that the Korea Public Service are some of the most innovative people. And this strange condition began when I was 15 years old. That was 1996. And the Wild Web just came as a social technology that enabled everyone to publish preprints, that is to say, journal articles for other people to review. And so one day I told my principal that I want to quit school and start my education on the World Web because I discovered that all my textbooks were out of date and I can participate in writing this textbook. And so the principal, after reading the email printout of my exchange of people across the internet who don't know that I'm just 15 years old, eventually said, okay, you don't have to go to school anymore and I will cover for you. And this enabled me to participate in the very beginning of the World Web Consortium of the Internet Engineering Task Force application to the web, as well as understanding the core culture, a tradition of the internet that is permissionless innovation. And through this idea of rough consensus, of radical transparency, they established legitimacy without requiring a Navy, a Army, or a Air Force. This new way of building legitimacy through radical transparency has now influenced every part of our society so that when we think of sovereignty, we no longer think only in territorial bounds. We think about the .tw domain, the various domain systems, like whether .amazon describes a rainforest or a multinational company, and all the different configurations of sovereignty is now being reshaped, and everybody who wants a stake in it can claim so only with an email address. And so in Taiwan, we say that broadband is a human right. Even on the peak of Taiwan, almost 4,000 meters high, you still have 10 megabits per second at only 15 euros per month and limitless bandwidth because we firmly believe that anyone who have participated in this kind of multi-stakeholder setting of democracy can see that it is truly is the future of democracy going forward.